Apple released iOS 26.2 Beta 3, here's everything new. Within settings, under General, if we go to AirDrop, down at the bottom, there's a new option for Manage Known AirDrop Contacts. Now it says you will automatically appear for 30 days to people you have shared a one-time code with. If you go into this, you can manage your contacts, but if someone tries to AirDrop you a photo or a file, something will pop up on your screen. If I go ahead and do this, you'll see it says Use AirDrop Code. You can share a secure code, and then with this code, they'll be able to airdrop that file. So if we tap send or use code, I can put in a code and then it will airdrop to this device from the other device. If we press and hold on the lock screen and tap edit, the overall animations have been improved in beta 3. They're a little bit smoother and they seem maybe a little bit more bouncy. Under the level, they updated this last time with this nice animation with liquid glass, but now it's easier to read with less refraction, so as we move it over the number, you can still see the number visibly. If we go into the Stocks app, you'll see down at the bottom, it now says Top Stories instead of your headlines. Within the code, thanks to Aaron p 613 on X, he said he found references in iOS 26.2 Beta 3 that imply Apple may allow users to change the function of the side button, basically meaning you could assign a different assistant other than Siri but this would only be in the EU, it seems. There's also new splash screens for reminders, as well as Apple TV, along with a new notification about earning daily cash in the Apple Wallet, and there's a new splash screen for games as well. For even more detail, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe.